ready for my this is my alarm clock every day during the season what? It's about my alarm clock every day of the season is about to happen right here ready i'm not gonna do it now just because you said that <laughs> i knew it <laughs> yeah what up y'all and welcome back to a dang another one <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> boys i'm hurting yeah yeah Rough. why don't you have much to say groggy uh, we went to bed. Why well, I went to bed at 2.30. Yeah. My gosh. Bad. Party central out here with old Gav. <laughs> teaching him the ways of the waterfowl hunting lands. Uh, man, we just had a boys night and kicked it at the dinner table. Literally. We did not move from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. No. <laughs> Six hours. Six hours. We sat hours, at the same table. We sat at a little round table. <laughs> Solve Look at him, he's hurting. Solved the world's problems. <laughs> we did too, just solved every world problem out there. So, firing up the second video, we're uh, still at Flatland Flyways. We got Lake in again today. We'll talk to him in a minute. Uh, we kicked off, I, I don't know if I told you in the last video, we kicked off a podcast in the pit blind. And uh, it was pretty cool. We were sitting right here. Actually, you haven't edited up or anything like that yet. When will that one be up? Uh, if probably it'll it'll be episode fifteen, so three weeks, so middle of April. Gotcha. See, old P Diddy running the show like always. April fifteenth, uh, the podcast from here will be up. If you guys haven't checked out the podcast, do so. We are giving away an Alaskan hunt for two very, 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 very lucky individuals. That it'll be. A trip of, of a lifetime, and Chris and Gavin are trying to get on that trip too. I hope we can make it happen. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got to get Hopefully. a hold of Charlie. Hey, remind me, we got to call Charlie today. Charlie today. Call Charlie today, and then uh, we're giving away a waterfowl hunt at Sand Hill Flyway, my lodge, uh, for two for this coming season. So Alaska is in September, and then the Sand Hill Flyway hunt at my lodge will be, you pick, November through January, February. So. I'm gonna stop babbling. I gotta get the old GoPro hooked up on the head. Get you some breakfast going. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. Check this out here at Flatland Flyway. Warm, ready to go, thank you. Thanks, sirs. Look, like old Lake, and you over here, you over here taking pictures, or what are you doing? Yeah, a little bit. I'm just roaming around being Bob. Being Skating. real annoying first trying thing to, in the morning. Trying to capture your natural element. Are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, right on. Hold on, that's what we can do. Everybody needs to hear about the dog. Coot. Coot? Coot? Yep. It's, Alec, it's Alex's dog. I don't have a dog up here. I have one at home. But there you go, Cootie. Oh, look at him. Oh, Cootie. Do you know how old he is? Uh, I think he'll be nine in October. Oh, my God. I didn't think so, he was Or maybe eight. Eight? I don't know. I think he's either six or seven right now or something like that. But. What a good boy. Oh, yeah. Man. Makes me miss old Frederick while I'm here. We're not over the top. Oh, smash him. Call it. Yeah. Try him there, yeah, boy. try him, boys. Gosh dang it. Well, What? What's behind us? Geese. Lots of geese? Oh, hey. Well, didn't doesn't look like we scared them too bad. They're already 10 miles high. Boy, that was a big swing and a miss on a single. Lakin, you knew better than I did. He goes, well, he, he's a little tall, Bob. I guess if he comes over the top. He didn't really act like he was going to get kind of, wow. He kind of stalled up and yeah. stopped coming too. One thing about us is we like to shoot. Yeah. yeah. It's snow goose season, bro. Yeah. I mean, it's it's yanking the trigger season. Yeah. We need tubes. to go through some stuff. No, we got no all limits. kinds. Definitely attracted to see. What are you shooting here? You we got all kinds cloud. of black cloud to use. Awesome stuff. Number twos. I always preach it. You guys ask in the comments constantly, and I get it. A lot of people need some good advice, and I would tell you to try number twos. Number two shot for everything. For everything. Everything. Literally, the only time we don't use number two is like teal. I was gonna say teal. That's the I only thing. I normally shoot sixes. I'll shoot a, I'll shoot a dang turkey with number twos. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you can kill coyotes. Mm-hmm. Anything. Three inch number twos, like one of the best for coyotes. Yeah. 
three inch number twos. Full choke, not extra full. You just need a full choke. I had one guy, uh, I read a comment and he's like, you know that full chokes and two shot, they're not meant for everybody. And I said, dude, it's just a, you know, just an opinion. Yeah. Oh God, he wouldn't let, he just wouldn't leave me alone. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I literally just shoot whatever I have. Yeah, especially for snow geese. I'll shoot a duck with double Bs. I mean, <laughs> well, you're that guy. If it flies, it dies. You also kill every hen mallard. <laughs> Can you guys tell? Are those blues? The front's definitely a juvie. Look at them. Yeah, yeah those blues. are blues. Well, come on. Come on back, blues. Where are you going? Don't leave me. Bald eagles. I was a little late filming. Tell us to pull these gills back, and I'm spraying. Flare job? Yeah. Oh, don't say that, son. Oh, it was. Oh, geez, I can hear him just a barking up there. Huh? Oh, they sound great. That's a good flock, dude. Those are five flocks. Come on, do something funky. That was our best luck for the big group. They came over at a decent height, it's not gonna lie. Boy, they, that's one of the lowest, that's the largest, lowest group that's yeah. came over today by far. And they came out of their way too. Yeah, they came out, they came to us. They, right down that road they looked there. so good. There's some, uh, there's a good amount of gray birds in that flock too. Uh, today, you all seen the spread, uh, the last video, I'm at the same spot. Uh, so this is, like I said, day two here in Hecla, South Dakota with Flatland and the boys. We got P. Diddy, uh, we got Gavin, and we got Chris. Four of us, man, just an awesome four-man group. Uh, if you don't know Gavin and Chris, you'll meet them in a little bit. Father, son, uh, awesome people. Awesome guides, uh, old Lakin. He's from, he's from Kansas, Dodge, yep. Dodge yep. Shitty, Pretty much. and uh, good, good guy. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, but oh, that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> we got rotaries out today. Yeah, yeah, we got rotaries and how many clones? Six. Six, Six clones, and uh, yeah, all because. The wind isn't blowing today, like yeah. you said. Yesterday, I think it was like sustained close to 40 and gusts up to 50. It was not fun. Insane is what it was. Bad. As you can tell, all the corn has blown up yeah, all around. Like snow. Yeah, it's drifted. All the corn stalks are drifted like snow. And actually, it kind of looks cool because it hides the black stake. You know it? I don't know. I'm just excited to be here, to be quite honest with you. Look at this group right here on the left. Two thirty in the morning got him like got him like Yeah. Me? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's not about you, Peter. Jeez. Come on, guy. Oh. Oh, oh gas knocked out. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Good night, you know. The late nights are the good ones, that's for sure. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, First time we've seen the sun in two days. Yeah, look at this. I mean, no wind. Nada. Yeah. Everybody that was here yesterday. Boy, howdy. Uh, if you've seen the first video. This is the second video. And uh, no, we're not killing many. But we're having fun. That's one thing about this, y'all. You got two options. One, you can start complaining. Get all bent out of shape and demand that it should have been better. Well, guess what? It's not the, the operator's fault. It's not the guide owner's fault. It's not the lodge's fault. It's not the help's fault. This is how it is. I just got a phone with uh, Dirty Bird, Nick up there. And actually he texts me first and he goes, how's it going down there? He's north of us two to three hours pretty much, somewhere around there. And he's like, how's it going? I completely described 
uh, what I've seen the last few days and exactly to the T and he goes, that's exactly what we've been experiencing the last three days. He said, we haven't seen a juvie, no gray bird in three days. Haven't even seen one in a flock, neither have we. That all being said, there's one option in mind and that's just to have fun. Yeah. Jeez, it took you that long to find something to say and all you got is yeah? Yeah. We're just here to have fun. Oh. This what? time three weeks ago? No, no we were talking about... Four years about... and three weeks ago? It was four years. Four years and three... No, sorry. Four years and three weeks ahead of where we are now. We were slamming them in North Dakota. Yeah. Like two, just north of here where two we hours, are. Two, two to two three hours. hours. The same area I was talking about just a minute ago. Yeah. That being said, it was... Uh, what is today? The 31st? Yeah. 31st. Mm -hmm. uh, we went... April 22nd. So you're talking not too far shy of a month, huh? Oh, no. Not, not, not too far off of a month. And there should be birds. I believe uh, with all this southbound flight we've seen, there's a bunch south of us. Um, it's hard to believe because they've been really warm for a while. They hit 80 a couple times. The first day we were here, it was 77. So. I don't know. Actually, if you're from up here, South Dakota, North Dakota, heck, if you're in Canada, like Southern Canada, and you're seeing a ton of snows, that would be helpful to know. Drop a comment down below and let us all know, like, hey, we're in this part of Canada or, or right on the border here in North Dakota, and they're everywhere, or we haven't seen a bird yet. Let us know. It's really interesting, especially when you experience this in one of the best snow goose fly lines up here in South Dakota. <coughs> Nailing it. Can you see him? Oh. They sound like they want it. They're getting loud. They're coming back. They're coming yeah, they're back on the left. On the left? Yeah. Oh, they're going to do it right in the hole. Are they? Yeah. Tell me when he... Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, right here. There we go. There we go. Yep. Kill him, guys. Damn. Not good shooting. Come on, fall, you cocksucker. Oh. What happened to the Smash shooting there? Bastard hard. Woo! That was fun, though. <laughs> There's one. He should go down. Is he? Smashed him hard and thought he was gone. I thought that one was dead. You freaking! I saw it crush it. Yeah, I, he Help, went weird. Oh. What the hell? How did that guy I have no there? idea. Oh. <laughs> my you got gun. some adrenaline running right now. That was beautiful. My oh. gun <laughs> my gun was like not used to it and I started racking them off and it jammed on me. Did it? Dropped two shells. Two, here. I didn't even oh. Oh. Got in on. Come on. Oh, I don't here. even know what to say. Group of specs. Uh, not a snow in it. Oh yeah. Oh my. They're landing right now. They landed. Yep. yep. Want like right all of us stand up or what? So they're in line. They're just to the left from my view. Get ready to shoot if they get up. Hop up. 
Yeah. We got two that landed in the hole. Hey, you want me to hop up? Oh, they're out oh, there. Yeah, they're right they're way far. I mean, Somebody ain't gonna shoot. Hey, if you hop here. up, you should like step back into the right so we can all shoot. Let's do two okay. shooters to try, or three, I don't care. Right. I'll get up in the huh? right so everybody can shoot. Yeah. yeah Unless someone wants to sneak. What do you think we should do? Walk it out? Straight out. Too far? Should we go two I, I guys? No, we'll, we'll, I think we'll kill him, really. You think we'll kill him? I think You're we'll confident. One person shoot and get him off or what? He's going to go to the know. right, so we don't... I don't know what we're doing here, Nick. They're going to get up and come in the wind. Where, where, where are they? They're, they're, they're like right in line with the house. Be quiet. How far out are they? For way far. 50 yards? Huh? 50 yards? Oh. <laughs> He's looking at me. Oh, look at him. Should we all get up? They're just feeding him. You should be able to just walk right out. Yeah, they're juvies. Just get two Bobby, you want to walk out with I'll walk with the shot cam. I need some footage. Yeah, yeah, you guys go. Oh, I see one. All right, get ready. Stay low, go. Stay low and go. I don't see him. Oh, there they are. Oh boy. Okay. Don't don't swing around. They are juvies. They are young birds. They don't want to fly. Oh come on. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Good shooting. Those are some gray birds right there, boys. We better hurry up. We've had a good commitment here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold her up. Let's see her, Gavin. Look at that gray bird. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. On the board. We better hurry and get back. This is the best commitment we've had. Oh. Wow, it all started, all started with that group of what, 50, 60, that yeah. just got crazy. A little flock of juvies making their way through. Awesome. <sighs> Feels good to finally start yanking, yanking the old trigger. Woo! But here's the spread I showed you all in the last video. These are all Dave Smith full bodies, guys. 1,200 of them, all of them. There is no silos, no socks, all Dave Smith. Unreal looking spread, beautiful. Got a couple clones here, three clones there, and three rotaries there. And here is the pit blind. Ah, we got some gray birds, boys. That's funny. They did not want to fly. Let me grab that thing. That was cool. That was real cool. Oh, there goes my phone too. Woo! Woo! That's what we needed, boys. On the board. We'll square we on the board. On the board. That is what we needed. On the board today. That's awesome. Uh, so right now it's at 8 o'clock in the evening. We got 30 minutes of shooting light still. 30 minutes to hunt still, and it's almost dark. <laughs> I gotta show you all the sunset again. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, well. Woo! Back home. Back home we are, in fact. And I can't show you much here. I got a new toy that, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I asked y'all if y'all knew of one that one of these bad boys that was around that your boy could purchase because I've been looking for one I finally found one y'all will see the video of it coming up here shortly but we got some special guests in town we're back home from South Dakota Pete Eddie's here we just got done filming a podcast which will be going up this Sunday the owner of the Alaskan 
let me let me put it in basic terms the owner of the outfitter that gave away the Alaskan hunt Brant's sea ducks for two of y'all subscribers of the podcast now you have to be a subscribed to the podcast to get entered to win that giveaway and let me tell you it is a giveaway amongst all giveaways a hunt of a lifetime Alaska two of you but a little bit about uh, the South Dakota hunt hey is what it is the day that we got home the day we got home it was either that night or the next day they were like hey Bob sorry you missed out we shot over a hundred now I'm like hey that's the way it goes it's hunting they had perfect weather but uh, the hunting fired up they had the right weather they shot over a hundred and a band out of the pit blind it's the way it goes it's hunting but like I said old Charlie and Steph they're here How hey are folks we? just got done with a good podcast yeah we had a great time it was a good one Look, she's going to get nervous right off the bat. She's like, oh, she, he's got the camera pointed out. See, this is when I pick on people. Yeah, Earlier, she was like, you got to be nice to me with the camera. And I'm like, well, we're just going to do it how I always do it. If it makes you feel any better, it took me three years to get used to it. It took him three years yeah, to just be able to not care about the camera. Exactly. You know. But she's an Alaska gal. She can take it. She's tough. You are tough. She's fought the bears off. She's fought bears off, but not these cameras. That's exactly what she's right. Used to. Yeah. She has taken over. She's taken over Daddy's business eventually. <laughs> you know, hey, that's yeah. The plan. I mean, that, that's the plan. You know, you got to the legacy has got to continue after 35 years. I'm getting old. Right. And I can't do this. I can't be killing these birds all my life. I'm getting old and tired. So first off, you got to go head over to the podcast. It will be up Sunday. Y'all are watching this, what, Wednesday? So Sunday, it'll be the next podcast going up. Like I said, you got to be subscribed to the podcast to be entered to have a chance of winning this ultimate once-in-a-lifetime two-man hunt up in Alaska. I'm going to take... I'm going to let... I'm going to let Charlie take over. Let me get my words right. And he's just going to give you a rundown. Yeah, so we're going to be up in Cold Bay, Alaska, hunting with Aleutian Island waterfowlers in uh, late September. We're going to be killing some brant, some cacklers, some lessers, a few pintails, doing a little salmon fishing. This is the full full blown big boys cast and blast and we are excited. Cast and blast. The cast and blast. The full big boys adventure. Right. As good as it gets. Tell them about your DIY opportunities. Oh yeah and, and you know for some of you guys that you know are, are pretty seasoned hunters and don't necessarily need somebody holding your hand all the time we have some great DIY trips in Cold Bay too where you stay at the lodge, you get your meals, you get the lo uh, lodging meals, decoys, pretty much the whole setup everything you need and uh you know at a real good price i mean shit, we got trips starting at 19.95 for five day trips and diy right. right so the diy hunts are something that i'm really excited about like the first day like charlie was telling me he's like we can get your feet wet just make sure you're seasoned up and ready to go he was like but it's just like anybody that hunts on the normal basis you see how to do it you can go out there and do it yourself you can sling your own decoy shoot your own birds and pretty much just do almost yeah, it, as good as you do with a guy. Yeah, you, you can. I mean, the, the, the biggest difference is you're just a little bit limited. you got to walk in. So it basically boils down to how much motivation and energy are you willing to put in to a hunt. If you're willing to walk and hunt and pack in a 50-pound bag of decoys or socks or silhouettes or whatever, uh, you, you can get after it. If you're not, then you probably better go with a guided hunt and have somebody carry your stuff for you. Right. It's going to be awesome. September 18th to the 25th will be this giveaway uh and it's my birthday uh week i keep saying that just because it's my birthday i'm allowed to say that uh it's, my birthday is the 21st so it'll be right in the middle and we got a special surprise for you but you're not going to know see so you've got special surprises if you want to get in on this hunt uh i'll link uh i'll link this actual i'll link this video the patreon down in the description below go go hit it go subscribe it'll get you in it uh, we're giving this hunt away in June, but it will be for September 18th through the 25th. Little, gotta get my words straight. Glad y'all made and it. And we got a few, uh, we got a few last minute trips open too. So if anybody that doesn't win the trip, give us a holler. We got a couple COVID special last minute rates to fill up for right. fishing, cast and blast, or just want to come kill some brand or trophy sea ducks. Yes, trophy sea ducks, especially in November. November, December. The king eider hunting. Ooh, but. Thank you all for coming. Thank you very much. They Bobby. stopped by. They've been on a literally a national tour, just seeing everybody. They went, they went hunting eleven hours north of me. 
yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we, we had a great snow goose hunt. We got invited by some friends. We were over in Denver and they said, Charlie, come over to North Dakota, me and Steph. So we drove 11 hours to go snow goose hunting for a couple days. And then uh, we came down here to be with Bobby and shot a great podcast. You guys will be pretty uh, entertained and I'm glad I got to spend it with my daughter. Exactly, and it tells the whole story. His whole upcoming of how he started the king otter hunting on uh, St. Paul, Paul Island. Island. It's it, St. Paul Island is the island of deadliest catch. If if you all are wondering where that is, so it's a, it's amazing. It's very very entertaining. This is one guy that's not entertained much. Yeah, you're lazy, dude. You're lazy, a you big dog. Edit that down too, like in your your first YouTube stuff. You mm -hmm. Yeah, he he edits a lot of the stuff now. Yep. I don't think you're gonna edit this one though. No. Nope. You're not gonna get your grimy off. paws on this one. No. Nope. Putting in stuff I don't know about. I do not. Yeah, you do. That one, because you you said I looked like a sea lion. Here. You did look like a sea <laughs> lion.